Now let's take a look now at a risk event for the week starting Monday the 29th of May. It's a holiday in many markets, including on both sides of the Atlantic for the US and also the UK. But I thought I'd look at the disturbance uh, around the US equity markets as we edge ever closer to that US debt ceiling deadline of the 31st of May, the back end of the trading day in May. As of the point of recording, it looks as though the two sides are getting somewhat closer. Let's take a look at the potential outcomes. There are three outcomes for this, total failure and disagreement and there's a default in US debt. The polar opposite is an agreement and the debt ceiling is raised and therefore relief. And the third outcome is that there's money made available to cover an extension to talks and an agreement to postpone the deadline for a defined period of time. Let's take a look at how we could well see the S&P 500 uh, trade in these three different environments. I think whatever happens, well, certainly if it's an agreement, uh, there will likely be a rally, uh, a relief rally of some sort. It depends on how high uh, a relief rally would take the S&P 500. Second down a row of gains as of the time of recording, just before uh, the European get markets get underway on Friday. Uh, the debt ceiling negotiation deadline is the 31st of May, which is the back end of trade on Wednesday. Uh, it's widely expected that we'll wake up to positive news potentially, possibly even earlier than that, and we could well have seen already a rally uh, in this market. Now, where we are at the moment at 41.49, the level to break is 42.14. Now, that would take us up then uh, to levels not seen since the 19th of August last year, driven mainly by technology stocks, it has to be said, and technology would get a, a nice little boost out of this potentially. Uh, but I think that is the line to break. And if you're long, uh, assuming there's going to be some sort of um, positive event come out of this and some sort of agreement, uh, your stock goes below the 4,000 level uh, with a view to taking this higher. Now, if there's any chance for default, which of course would only come about if there is no agreement and there is no solution, uh, then of course there is a potential downside. Next line of support to watch out for down here at 3,800, uh, which were the lows we had back on the 13th of March. Now, that's not, not the base case, but if you're short on this market, stock goes above recent price action uh, from around about the two, uh, 4,220 odd level uh, if you're short on these markets. But at the moment, at least, that's not the base case. And I think the likelihood is with a solution, we could well see a relief rally. It's a question of whether or not we're going to break this 42.14.